Edo, what do you have for me this year? Okay. I'll show you some magic. Is it? This device has been thought in order to be a final tensioning device for a long liner and an eyeliner. So in long line you need power, uh, so a strong device in uh, uh, tensioning power, and in high line you need lightweight. So the very big uh, issue was how can we minimize the length of the device, so the weight, and keeping very high tensioning power, so the gripping power. The very big uh, issue was how can we minimize the length of the device, so the weight, and keeping very high uh, the tensioning power, so the gripping power. So we studied a lot into the geometry of the device in order to work with a narrow webbing and with very thick webbing uh, and be extremely efficient even if the device is only very few centimeters long. So we managed to reach 105 grams in weight, keeping strength, so working load up to 7 kN. So extremely strong. MBS declared is 25 kN. You can see a great innovation. It was to replacing the rope with the flat webbing. And this way, the main reason is because you can attach your Rolex your carabiner, sliding carabiner, in two ways. The first one is directly uh, in a simple connection. This way you have the Rolex and the mouse grip working on different axes. And this will let you work when you are in a high lining, tensioning position, uh, not so comfortable and you are really on the side. But when you are in a comfort position, you just do with your webbing, a girt hitch knot, like this one, you clip, and voila, so you're working in the same angle, straight, with your Rolex. So, one very important point is that we choose Dyneema in order to have a very strong and powerful webbing. Uh, the Dyneema is really resistant to abrasion. And you can see here, this groove on the device, they have been created in order to let the webbing work and have a guide when you pull. Uh, the same is over here. You have a very uh, clean groove with a shape absolutely clean and not sharp, so your webbing can be uh, adjusted quickly, fast and precisely. Um, it's important to uh, remark that we choose a specific rubber quality for the rubber plate uh, in order to maximize the grip potential of the rubber plate. So be sure that with this device uh, you will always have grip, even with so narrow length. Uh, for your first time, I really advise you to read carefully the manual. Why so? Because uh, mouse grip is really strong and requires very few careful points to be aware of. So, first point is check that your webbing is positioned inside the rail guideline. So if your webbing is not included into this guide, guide rail, then you might have trouble or simply ruin your webbing, and it's, it's really a pity. Uh, you can check the first time, but you must check eventually also when you slide front and back, or front and back on the device. And another very important remark is related to the temperature condition where you're working. So if you're working on a very hot sunny day, remember that mouse grip is made of aluminum. So it can get very hot if exposed to direct sunlight. Uh, the only way to avoid to overtake uh, the maximum temperature of 32 degrees of the device, uh, our suggestion is to use a shell, like a simple piece of fabric that will cover the device while 
if you are using it. Otherwise, just be careful to be not directly exposed to the sun. Uh, this is a very important point. And in the manual, finally, you, you will find instruction to create your backing on system 3 to 1 or 9 to 1. So all the possible setup with Rolex and uh, creating multiple uh, powerful tension system. So Edo, you were yeah. talking about the guys that you have inside yes. to keep your thin or your super, super um, big yeah, big webbing. Can you show me them, please? Yes. So I open it. Have a look. So one side is clean and the other side is with a rail guide. So in this way, the webbing will be always uh, hold inside the guide rail. Thank you, Edo. Like Enjoy. the word.